Hello, my name is Clara Phillips and my co-authors are Erezu Eshwagi and Winfred Heim. Our presentation today is on exploring the benefits of 3D printing for lower limb prosthetic sockets, a preliminary study. 3D printing is a powerful additive manufacturing technique for custom organic shapes such as prosthetic sockets. But these sockets must be designed by an experienced prosthetist to accurately fit the patient's unique residual limb. The residual limb consists of a non-uniform medium to bear weight with pressure tolerant and sensitive areas. Understanding this structure is integral to properly modifying the socket shape for a controlled pressure distribution over the limb. Tissue information is conventionally captured by manually palpating the limb as the cast dries. This is not captured with a 3D scan. That said, the use of 3D scanning and printing has been shown to lead to successful outcomes, but many studies fail to address the potential effects from transforming a traditionally hands-on practice into one that is digital. Therefore, we aim to evaluate the process of 3D printing temporary sockets through a pilot project with a focus on identifying changes to clinical experience with the technology. We investigate whether the use of CAD CAM leads to accurate fittings, improves production phases, enhances patient's experience, and reduces turnaround time and costs. The process begins with a 3D scan of the patient's residual limb, which is then modified using CAD software, and the socket design is then sent to the 3D printer for fabrication. Before the temporary socket is fitted to the patient, it is reinforced and laminated. To date, we have seen a large reduction in technical fabrication time, as well as faster shape capturing with 3D scanning. Preliminary data from patient feedback suggests that 3D scanning provides a superior experience to casting, provided it results in a well-fitting socket. Clinician feedback identifies that the efficiency, accuracy, and portability of the 3D scanning is beneficial. However, what is missing from the 3D scan is the preforming of tissue to shape the socket, as is done when shaping a cast. With fabrication, there is a notable increase in efficiency with 3D printing. However, the material strength factors are unknown. Therefore, the post-processing includes lamination and reinforcing the attachment components, requiring additional labor. So where CAD CAM really excels is in the 3D printing. Sockets are complete in 9 to 20 hours, eliminating most laborious processes which would otherwise obtain the same results. However, the 3D scan is missing the tactile feedback the clinician obtains during casting, which captures tissue density. Without this information, the clinicians lack the confidence in applying the biomechanical principles effectively during modification, affecting fitting predictability and leading to trial and error. In conclusion, we have shown initial satisfactory outcomes with socket fitting and a reduction in turnaround time and costs. However, to make 3D printing a viable and practical tool for daily clinical practice to enhance patient care, improvements are needed to capture vital clinical information at the shape capturing stage. This will make the modification process more intuitive to lessen the clinician's presumption of outcome. Material strength must also be investigated more thoroughly to eliminate the socket reinforcement stage after printing. Thanks for watching.